We will see you in a little bit. Love you. Okay. Hello and wonderful. Hey, yo, da ba do do dee. Hello, guys. How are you on this beautiful day? No, it's been raining for the past few days, and I think it's going to be raining for the next few days. This is another one of those non trucking videos. Just a heads up. We're going to be heading for Ames, Iowa. And when I say we, I'm going to be back up here and I'm going to be driving the school vehicle, pulling the school trailer with the school in, or with the instruments in it because our kids all made it to State Jazz. Yeah, State Jazz in band. The last one you guys watched was State Jazz in choir. Not too many schools can say both of their jazz teams made it to state championships. But I say we because Sarah is going to be coming with me in the school vehicle, staying in the hotel room for two days with me. Because for some silly reason, I don't know why, but the band conductor man, he has decided that we need to bring a female show, a uh, female what do you call those people that watch kids? I don't know. Chaperone, there you go. A female chaperone. Because always it's been just three guys. The bus driver, me, and the band director. It would have been just three of, three of those guys. And let's face it, I probably do need a chaperone from time to time. Two days in Ames, Iowa jazz band remember not a trucking video even though the truck is going to be done here within the next few hours it's supposed to be done today we just can't pick it up for two more days because we will be gone never honk for a woman you should never do that bad horn i did not do that she did it i didn't do it we gotta go come on warden we gotta go come on sweet love How are you already being a side seat driver? I'm not. I'm just saying you're a little crazy for a school vehicle. Really? Crazy? Yeah. <laughs> the engine's just a little baby. It's got to go. Hey, yep, still raining. Quick stop outside of uh, Carroll, Iowa right now just for a little potty break and then we're getting right back on the road. And two hours, a little bit over two hours, we are in Ames checking into our hotel now. Then we will go eat and go have a little bit of fun. Mark the chain, Parker. <laughs> sure. 
I swear, I'm by myself. Don't do that. Boys. Well, there's more than one room of boys. Bogan, Jaden. Well, it's just Parker and Parker and, or seniors. Okay. Man, you come and I lose my sweet, but I get my king still. You wouldn't have gotten a sweet this time anyway, so shut up. Yeah, some are close. Okay, food is done. Then we came over here, went bowling. That is done. 72 is a high score, right? Isn't that your whole point? I got a 72. I call that a high score. I had some bets going with Sarah. And then there's another Sarah. I had some bets going. Then Logan. They all beat me really bad. So I, I lost a lot of bets. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the hotel. Kids are going to go do some swimming. Uh, then we'll go to bed, wake up tomorrow morning, eat some breakfast, and go compete. You're such a beautiful woman in the mornings. I just wanted to take a picture of you. Load it up, Drew. Come on, Sarah. Run, run, run. Don't fall. There's actually some snow stacking up on their back window. I'm so happy Why? that winter decided to come in like mid-March all the way through April. Isn't it awesome? It's just spectacular. All right, good morning. If you missed this beautiful mug, you, I feel sorry for you. We are at Iowa State University and it's where they're going to perform. That's our current situation. It is snowing. All right, I've watched a couple performances. Now it's about our time to unload the van or unload the trailer and start to get ready. So I'm gonna walk over here, grab it, go over to under, Go over underneath the canopy and uh, get unloaded. Mr. Goose, you had it made in the shade if you were down south and you came up here. Now it's snowing again, I feel for you. I'll take your picture. There you go. Whew. All right, it's snowing out. Now to find a parking spot to put this thing in there, then we're going to go in and they perform. I actually got to warm up and do all that fun stuff, then they perform. You'd never guess that this was all covered in snow less than 30 minutes ago. 
If you can't tell, I'm, I'm excited. I get stupidly excited. I'm just too excited for this stuff. I love it. I'm going to miss it. I don't have a kid staying in jazz band, but I can still follow the jazz choir kind of things. You guys rocked it. Did you have fun? Yes. Yes, you did? Yes. You sounded amazing. Yeah, thank you. I love you too. You smell weird. I smell weird? I love you too. <laughs> Wasn't that performance magnificent? That was awesome. Those kids rocked it and they rocked it hard. All right, we're in what I think is considered North Ames. It's a bunch of pretty nice apartments or houses. Nice little business district here. We just punched down on some food and we're gonna be heading back to Iowa State University's campus where we will uh, well, we'll see how the judges felt we did. They did, how the judges felt they did. I don't even know where I was when I left you guys off last. You know, when I stopped talking. We've done a lot. Um, it's now probably about 10.30-ish at night. And uh, the kids are finishing up watching the finals. We didn't make the finals. Uh, we came in seventh. And unlike the choir, if you guys watch that video, I think, I think we're okay with it. The kids had a blast playing. You could see the expressions on their face up there. Well, they were probably, well, I'm, I'm wore out, I'm not going to lie. I, I'm, I, I'm ready to go back to trucking. The truck is done, I got the call. The truck is done, we'll be back to trucking. Um, the next, mm, we go home tomorrow, and then the next morning, we're gone. We're in the road, hitting the road. They finished up seventh, and that is amazing. They are, they are happy with it. Um, they take 15 of the top schools in the state of Iowa and they bring them here in class 2A, 1A, 2A, 3A, and 4A, and we're 2A. And to finish seventh out of the 15 top schools, that's pretty good. There was one other school that we probably could have gotten a little bit ahead of, um, but the top six, they, the top five were just phenomenal schools. And what it does is they take the top two of each class, and then they have the finals. Those those uh, four those those schools have to play again, and that's what's finishing up right now to determine who is the top in class A, the top in class all the classes. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm tired now. So when they come out, we're gonna head back to the hotel, uh, stay one more night, pack it up early in the morning, and then we have to stop by one of our schools in our district. Because if you remember, we do uh, the parade of schools whenever you make it to the championships. And we need to stop at one of our schools, dig everything back out. They're going to perform for them. 
it, it serves two purposes. It's just to show the kids and the teachers and the families that are over there how good um, the crew is. And then on top of that, it it helps to recruit. We you got to keep your kids in band. A lot of them, a lot of them are going to try to uh, quit when they are seventh grader, seventh or eighth graders, because they're scared to go into high school band. And if you have one of them, push to keep them in. Just push to keep them in, because once they get to high school, that's where the fun starts. That's the way I always say it. So once they get to high school, they get to travel a lot more with the band. And that's what it is. It's sort of like a recruitment trying to get kids to stay in band. Our numbers are going down. That's the sad thing. Our kids are amazing. Our school, our, our directors, both choir and band, they're just amazing. Amazing. But the numbers are going down. Alright, I'm done talking. I'm tired. Yay! It's snowing again. Wouldn't be a nice, beautiful April in Iowa. Iowa April, if it wasn't snowing to start our day off. We gotta find that perfect picture opportunity. Okay. Had to get the good picture. All right, let's hit the road. There's Troy. Yeah, you heard Opie barking in the background. He's happy. I ran down here. We dropped all the instruments off, kids off. I ran down to my house, dropped all of our luggage off, dropped the wife off. I'm going to go back up to the school drop the van or the suburban and the trailer off and this is another trip in the books I have one more thing Saturday that I have to be at band related but we're leaving to go trucking in the morning I have to go down and get my DOT physical here in a minute get that all out of the way then I leave tomorrow morning to go get the truck Uber dad's gonna take me down once we get the truck, get in the truck, and we're heading for somewhere in Kansas this week. I think in the beginning part of next week, we are heading off for Indiana again. Cool. Get back out to Indiana. We ain't been there in a while. This could very well possibly be my last time driving that Suburban. I know Paige is, uh, she's graduated. She's graduating this year. She's my jazz choir kid, jazz choir and band. Troy's my jazz choir. For jazz choir, we take the Suburbans. We don't trailer, of course, <coughs> or van. That could be my last time having the trailer and the Suburban and going a lot of last. A lot of lasts going on right now. April or May are going to be rough months. You guys who have uh, kids that have graduated from high school, you know what I mean. We're doing all right. Bud is, uh, he's in jazz choir still and shooting and football. So we still have plenty of running around to do. I still got three more years of those little rugrats. We're doing good. Come here. Come here, Jax. Let it, Jax, let him have the ball, man. Yeah, let him play with the ball for a minute. Where's yours at? Yours is right there. Opie, come say hi to me at least. Opie, can you at least say hi? Hey, Daddy's going to take the ball if I do. He's going to take the ball anyway. Come say hi to me. 
Why don't you love me? Say hi to me. Say hi. I love you. I give up.